another Star Wars The Black Series 6-inch action figure review, and today we're going to be reviewing the more recently released Qui-Gon Jinn figure. Um, I excuse the lighting, I'm in, I'm back home for the weekend, and I haven't got my lighting really set up here, because I'm not here very much, obviously, so I do apologize about the lighting, I'll maybe try to get it better when I actually move into looking at the figure more close up. Um, but just looking at the packaging, I don't think it matters too, too much. So first we will look at him in the packaging. So you got the standard red and black packaging. Star Wars Black Series logo. The figure inside, looking pretty cool. Pretty hard to see, but a pretty decent image of Qui-Gon there. He's number 40. Another image of Qui-Gon. And the brief bio. Which reads, a vulnerable, if maverick, Jedi Master, Qui-Gon Jinn was a student of the living force. Qui-Gon lived for the moment, espousing a philosophy of feel, don't think, use your instincts. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, this is a figure that if I found if I found out in the wild, I'd pick up. If not, it wouldn't be a huge deal. But Qui-Gon is probably one of my favorite Jedi. He's probably one of my favorite characters of the Phantom Menace, their prequel trilogy at any rate. I just really liked them. I liked how he was sort of a wise Jedi Master, but at the same time had different ideals or different beliefs that contradicted the Jedi Councils and how he sort of argued with the Council. I like that a lot. And it is just for Liam freaking Neeson, so hey. Anyways, I'm going to get the figure out of the packaging. We'll take a closer look at the figure, and hopefully I'll have some better lighting. Hi guys, I'm back with Qui-Gon now out of the packaging. And this is a really cool figure. I'm pretty impressed. I'm liking it more than I thought I was going to like it. And it's definitely showing that Black Series could be going back in the right direction with their figures. Um, I do like this guy a lot. So let's take first take a look at his sculpt and paint details. And it's pretty good. From what I've heard, they actually sculpted the eyes separately from the rest of the head sculpt. And the head sculpt does look really nice. I mean, I think they could have used a wash over the face to bring out the details in his sculpt, like pretty much every head sculpt, but it is pretty good, especially for Hasbro standards. It looks like Liam Neeson, relatively. Hair is nicely sculpted around the beard and whatnot. He has some gray um, painted in to kind of, with the brown, to kind of give that aged look. And the eyes are painted nicely and do look pretty cool. I do like it a lot. It looks really good. And you got the braid on his hair and whatnot, it looks good too. The hair does limit some articulation because it's not overly pliable. Then you got the rest of the Jedi garb, which is simplistic looking, but the sculpt is really nice. You can just see the sculpted detail there. And does have a nice little paint wash on it to bring out the detail, it looks really good. Got the hands here. Belt looks nice with some pouches in different brown colors, silver and bronzes. Hole for the lightsaber, which I'll show later. The lower robe, which looks good. It's cut in the sides so it doesn't hinder too much articulation. Pretty standard looking pants. And brown boots, which are nicely sculpted, but it would be nice to get some weathering on the boots, but not a big deal. And overall it looks really, really good. I don't really have too many complaints on that front. He looks like quite gone. He looks pretty good. In terms of articulation, he has a ball joint in the head, but you're not gonna get much up and down motion. Or you're going to get down, but you're not going to get up. A bit of rotation, no pivot. Ball hinges, the shoulder moves just above 90 degrees. I really like what they did with the single joint and the hinge, because it's a single joint, but they cut it like a slant like this, so he bends pretty far past 90 degrees, which is actually really awesome, so I really like that. Get the rotation and all that. Ball hinges at the wrist. A ball joint at the torso, but no real up and down motion, unfortunately, just kind of a rotation. Ball hinges at the hips move. I don't worry about that much. I move out like that. The center is a little bit of articulation, not too bad. A swivel cut at the thigh, double hinges at the knees, and hinge at the ankle with a rocker. So really good articulation. And lastly, in terms of accessories, he does come with his lightsaber, which is really cool. It's hard to see on camera here, but he has a really nice green blade. The hilt looks really good. Got black, silver, and the red paint out for the button. Looks really cool. Got the peg there for the hilt. You can take that lightsaber out, it clips in really tightly, and you can peg that to his belt, like so. And that looks really cool. I'll get that closer for you. You can also hold it, obviously, and he holds it pretty good. You can get him to hold it in two hands, though. Your poses with two hands are going to be pretty limited because he doesn't, his arms don't move inwards too good, but he does hold it pretty well, so that's cool. He looks good with it. 
One other really cool accessory comes with, this comes with an alternate hand with the sort of force gesture for uh, credits will do fine, which is really, really cool that they gave an extra hand. I wish Hasbro would do this more with their Black Series figures. Basically, you can just unplug his left hand here, which is tight, but not too tight. That's impossible to get out. And slot that hand in there. And then you have Qui-Gon there with his force gesture pose, so you can kind of get the pretty cool looking Jedi mind trick poses or whatever. That's pretty, pretty cool. Anyways, that's pretty much about it. This is a really cool f figure. So if you're a prequel fan, you're a Jedi fan, um, collecting the Black Series section line, I highly recommend picking this figure up. He's really cool. He was done very well, in my opinion. I mean, if you're not too crazy on the prequels of the Jedi, um, he, he is an easy pass, but I think if you're collecting the Black Series line, you should definitely pick this guy up, or at least consider it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, may the Force be with you.